storm is shutting down schools across Minnesota, including the state's three largest districts. As WCCO's Jennifer Merrily found out, the timing has some parents scrambling. The main event is almost here. With historic snow totals expected, parents started planning as schools shut down and went to e-learning or snow days. My wife actually flew out of town today, so she was very much making sure, you know, the kids had their stuff ready to go. Their house is split with two kids at Moundsview Public Schools with canceled class. Two others at Spring Lake Park will be learning from home, plus one parent working from home. It makes it difficult for blended families to really make a consistent plan. I think the first few hours will be pretty quiet and pretty low key, but after that, it's going to get pretty rowdy. Districts across the state made their own decisions on how to handle the incoming snow, like Minneapolis. We're grateful that our students at Minneapolis Public Schools can keep learning even during severe weather. And St. Paul, devices sent home for online learning Wednesday and Thursday, and then... On Friday, we will have a snow day. Some people call it an old school snow day. It all impacts families. Parents told me in order to juggle work and kids, some will have a TV day instead of e-learning. Others say they took the day off work to manage. Another mom told me it's stressful, but says we learned a lot about how to do this during the pandemic and says she'd rather have her son home safe with her. Ryan Russick says he sympathizes with all the parents and caregivers doing their best this week. I'll be like them, just trying to, you know, go hour by hour to make sure the kids have something to do. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Keep an eye on the bottom of your screen for the very latest school closures and e-learning days. And we also keep an updated list on our website at WCCO.com.